Guess what day it is? It's Sunday and time to worship! There's no way you won't go Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You were always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side and I'll wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing Always pursuing Always pursuing me More than the air I breathe I need you here with me And you're never gonna stop Never gonna stop And you're never gonna stop Never gonna Chasing me You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing Always pursuing
your name. Let's pray. God, I thank you so much for these kids. I thank you for bringing them here. I pray that through this lesson, you will just speak to them and show them how much you love them. God, I pray that as they go through their week, that they will just feel your presence, and I pray that you will just walk with them, and that they will have a great week. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, it's time to decide. If we were stuck in the wild, I would survive. Four, three, two, one. I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And welcome to uh, the Boop Show Survival Games. So this week, we're talking about tips and tricks of what it takes to survive. In the wild and in our day-to-day -day walk with God. Do I have to give up my phone? Them's the rules. But I imagine they're going to give us tools to help us survive. So how does this thing work? <laughs> the Loop Show Survival Games is all about endurance. Do you know? That tent has been there for days. In order to survive, you will explore and build. Alliances will be crushed. Wolves will be befriended. Wolves? You never know what you'll encounter out there. Did you put all of your distractions in the bins? Yep. Yeah, it feels kind of weird. I feel really insecure without all my stuff. You don't need it. As your guide, I will show you what you need to survive, starting with these. Why are we going to do it broken clocks? For our first event, you will use these compasses. Oh, so are we going to be competing against each other? You better believe it, buddy. Now, allow me to introduce the picnic table of doom. Oh, no. Doom? No, this is definitely doom. For the next three weeks, you will face a unique survival challenge. The winner of each challenge will get to pick two treats from the picnic table of doom. These don't look like treats. One treat will go in their backpack. The other will go in their partner's pack. And at the end of the three weeks, we will have a survival picnic. Well, corned beef hash. I don't think that those three words should go together. I'll take the moon pie. Okay, I, I want the moon pie. It's both the moon pie. Oh. Are you ready for our first challenge? So ready. You're going down, Ricky. We'll see about that. So while we get ready, let's go talk to Allison. Prayer is not like this complicated speech. It's just when humans talk to God. You know, a lot of times it's easy for us to feel lost when it comes to prayer, because it's like, how long am I supposed to pray? Am I even doing this right? Thank you, Father. Jesus, yo, homie, it's been a while, but you know, like, I still love you. I'm for you, like, I'm about you. Like, if I open my eyes, like, just a little bit, like, you know, like, if I peek around when everyone's praying, like, does that cancel out everyone else's prayers too? I'm a little worried about that. If I wake up and say amen, is that cool? How long is this thing supposed to be? I uh, I said, Jesus, please help my dog. And um, I've got I've got nothing else. How do people, I don't know how people go for like five minutes. I don't know how people, people pray for an hour. An hour? How's that possible? And they're not sleeping? Is it amen or like amen? I'm confused. So many questions. And it's easy for us to feel like we're doing it wrong. Maybe you've noticed that Jesus, he just didn't pray occasionally. He had a prayer life. He knew that prayer was a life-changing, life-saving survival skill. He knew that prayer had the power to change things. That is the power to change us and connect us with God. And his friends, they noticed this. One day his disciples are like, Jesus, like you're kind of good at this. You know, how do we pray? Like, would you show us? In Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13, this is what Jesus said. Pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. Matthew 6, 9 through 13. For our first challenge, we have the dot to dot compass challenge. Start at the star. When we say go, follow the guide and use your compass to find the final cone. When you arrive at the final cone, pick it up, yell out what you find on the paper. Whoever finds the final cone the fastest is the winner of this loop show survival challenge. Okay, <laughs> Ricky, yeah. you're up first. Okay. Jamie, oh, get yes. out. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, right there. Okay. <laughs> when I say go, okay. you're gonna go. 
Okay. I'm gonna start the timer. Ready? Okay. Go! Okay. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, it says three points north. Okay, north, north. Okay, three, and then two points west. One, two, three points north. One, two, three, okay. Two points east. Okay. One, two. That's two directions, okay. Let's see, okay, four points south, southwest, and northwest. Oh no, east is northeast. Oh, wait, no, what did I do? I did something wrong. Uh, and two points west, okay, okay. Nothing! Maybe I was wrong by one, let's see. You might want to just start back over start again. Over. Oh Are you my goodness. <laughs> three points north, one, two, three. Two points west, the northeast, south, west. One, two, uh, one points east, the one. Two points southeast, southeast. Too many directions. Ricky does not Wait, know how to use a one, compass. Two, okay. Like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know what five, north five. is. No, I got lost again. There's too many. There's, no, still not enough. <laughs> Start over again. No. Can I just use my GPS? You I, have GPS, it's cool. Yeah. This thing, this company. No, but like from satellites. No, we don't have satellite here. Okay, all right. Sorry. Okay, let's go. All right, three points north. One, two. Okay, so three. Ricky has had to start over not once, but east. twice. I'm a little worried east. that he's not going to be able okay, to finish okay. this, but I, he's two still got. South, he's got a chance. So keep it up. One, two. Hi. Hi. <laughs> three points south. South east. Okay. One, two, one point northeast. So that's north, that's east. That's so northeast. Is it southeast or northeast? Wait. And two points west. Northeast. Okay. One, two, okay. Yes! Okay. And it says, I will survive! You made it. Okay. In nine minutes and 12 seconds. Okay. Is that, that's like a. You survived! I survived. That's like a world record, though, right? Like nine. Well, you're the first one. World record. So, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, world record. Woo! Get through. Awesome. Yay! All right, Ricky completed that challenge in nine minutes and twelve seconds. Jamie's up next. We'll see how she does. Jamie, Are you ready? <laughs> yes, okay. I'm ready. Go. Okay, great. So I'm trying to get it to point north. It's not really working. One. Two, three. Whew, my heart is racing. Two to the east. We're almost like a minute in and we've not gotten very far. This is how I would go through the forest, backwards <laughs> and sideways. <laughs> oh no, I think I just messed up. Yes. Okay, so right now we're at oh, two I think minutes I and up. 39 seconds. All right, I might have messed up. She's, she's doing pretty good. One, two. <laughs> Three to the south. Jamie is doing really good on time. If she just keeps focusing on her compass, she's gonna like dominate Ricky's time. She's she's got this. Pretty sure. Maybe not. Four to north, one to the west, one to the west. One to the west. One to the south. One to the south. <laughs> one one to point the east. north. One to the east. Two one to the west. Point, okay, so two points southeast. And then two points west. Okay, this should be oh, it. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> Woo! Five minutes and 33 Woo! seconds! Yes! Yes! So you did beat Ricky. Woohoo! No nasty yeah. food for me. Ricky! <laughs> Ricky Master! <laughs> Rickster! Well, well done, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks, so Ricky. what was what was your time? Not important. <laughs> Nine minutes and twelve seconds. Ah, you know. We all start somewhere. Jamie, mm. what, what's your tips? You did five minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah. Well, How I, did you do it? I felt like it was really helpful in like, just always keeping the compass pointed north and not turning my body at all, because that way this never changed. Oh. Compass yeah, would my body right. a lot. Did you get the same instructions? It I, seemed. I mean. No, they're totally different. No, because I think mine was harder. Yeah, no, actually oh. the same. The same? Yeah, they're so the same. So you had, you had southeast too? Well, 
Good thing okay. that that's it. Oh, no punishment, good right? Good job, Jamie. <laughs> good job, Ricky. Thanks. I mean, you didn't win. You lost. But did you it? completed the challenge and you used your compass. Thank I'm you. I'm proud of you. You learned something today. I feel better. About endurance and working hard. All right. Where did you guys She's find her? Very I'm out, strong. guys. Okay, uh, about, bye. Cool. Wait, how, how do you get? How like, do you get out of here? Here, maybe I should hold it. Yeah, cup. you should. If you feel like you don't know what to say, or maybe you feel like you're not doing prayer right, try praying a navigational prayer. I want you to think back, up, in, around, forward. Everyone say it with me. Back, said everyone. Everyone say it with me. Up, in, louder, around, forward. All right, chant it all together. Here we go. Back, up, in, around, forward. Back, up, in, around, forward. Look back. What has God already done in your life that you need to say thank you for? Look up. Remember who God is. He's the creator. He's the one who loves you. Look in. What do you need to ask for forgiveness for? How do you want him to change you? Look around. Who in your life is in need? Look forward. Tell him your hopes. Tell him your dreams. And we're actually gonna get to practice this right here, right now. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to find a space where you can just kind of focus. If it helps you, go ahead, close your eyes. You can pray out loud or you can pray in your head. And when you do, I want you to let these directions help guide your prayers as you talk to God. Look back. What has God done for you? Tell him thank you. Look up, who is God? Tell him how good he is. Look in, what needs to change? Ask him to help you. Look around, what do the people around you need? Pray for them. Look forward. What do you hope happens next? Back, up, in, around, forward. So I lost. And I won. So Jamie's <laughs> going to pick two treats. Jamie, yes. have I told you how great of a friend you are? I think you're a really good friend too. Your selflessness, your thoughtfulness, one of the best people that I've ever known. The opposite of corned beef hash is how I describe you, like a moon pie. Okay, great. <laughs> and I'll take the moon pie. <laughs> yeah. Like a compass can help us find our way. Prayer can help us guide our lives. A prayer life is an important survival skill that we need daily. Next week, the Loop Show survival games continue. So as you go out into the wild, remember to talk to God. Let him guide you and direct you. And until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. Hey, Tank, do you know how to prepare this? Just... No. Prayer does help us navigate our lives, and it's not complicated. It's simply us talking to God. In fact, we're gonna do that right now. Everyone, if you would bow your heads and close your eyes. God, I thank you that you want us to talk with you, that you do guide our lives, God. And through praying to you, you show us what to do. As we continue on in an attitude of prayer with heads still bowed and eyes still closed, maybe you're in here today and you recognize, you know what, I've been doing everything by myself. I haven't been letting God guide me. I wanna let you know that he wants to guide you, not because he wants to tell you what to do, but because he has a great and a grand plan for your life. He wants to have a relationship with you. In fact, he wants that so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to this earth to die on a cross for you and for me. So that because of Jesus, through him, we could have a relationship with God where we're not alone. We can know who God is and He could be with us every single day and we can know His love. If that's you today and you recognize, you know what? I don't have that relationship, but I want it. 
I want you to go ahead and raise your hand right now. That's awesome. As we celebrate with those who are raising their hand, we're gonna pray out loud and together. So repeat after me. Dear God, I recognize that I'm broken and I need a savior. Jesus, I believe that you are the son of God, that you came and died for me. Jesus, I ask you to come into my life, to make me brand new. Thank you for your forgiveness and thank you for your love. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We are so proud of you. If you just made that decision, no, it's the most important decision you could ever make. And we wanna celebrate with you, so make sure you tell a leader and they can't wait to connect you with what happens after this. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me. And all my days I've been held in your head. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness. Of God.
Later, Mater. Jesus, all y'all mooses. Bye. Bye.